Hi, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to replace the roller shaft and your dryer model. The reason why you'd be replacing this part is if the shaft has been broken or badly damaged due to a bad bearing. For this repair, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a putty knife, a flathead screwdriver, a 916 nut driver, a pair of channel locks, and a socket wrench with a 916 socket. Warning, before doing any repair, please disconnect your appliance from its power source. So here we have our dryer model. And the first thing that we're going to do is remove the lens screen. Once you remove the lens screen, you can go ahead and remove these two screws. Next, using a putty knife, we're going to pop open the top panel of the dryer. And then we're going to lift the top panel of the dryer open so we can gain access inside of the dryer. Next, using a flathead screwdriver, we're going to disconnect this wire harness. Using a 516 nut driver, we're going to remove the two screws that hold the front panel of the dryer to the inside frame. Next, we're just going to pull out the front panel. And we're just going to slide the front panel out and remove it. Next, we're going to disconnect the belt. After you disconnect the belt, remove the idler pulley, just grab onto the belt, and remove the drum from the dryer. So after the dryer drum has been removed, we're going to see that our shaft is located right here. So in order for us to remove the roller, we're going to have to first remove this shield right here. Once that shield has been removed, next we're going to remove the support. After that support has been taken out, we're going to remove the tri ring. After that tri ring has been removed, you can go ahead and slip the wheel off the shaft. So if you notice that there's any debris, such as like what we have here, I recommend that you just clean it off because you will have to remove another tri ring. Once that second tri ring has been removed, next we have to turn the dryer around to gain access to the back of the roller. So once you've turned your dryer around, you're going to remove the back panel of the dryer. So here we have the back of our roller. It's going to be located just above the gas line using a 916 socket wrench. We're just going to loosen up the bolt to the roller. And then we're going to remove it. So then remove the washer after that. You're going to have to turn the dryer around again in order to remove the roller. So once you turn your dryer around, you can go ahead and pull the roller out of that frame. So we're just going to remove the washer off of our old roller. Next, you have your new OEM replacement roller. If you don't have one of these rollers already, you can find one in our online store. We're just going to take the washer we took off previously and place it on the roller before we place it back into the frame. So we're going to place our new roller into where it's supposed to be positioned. So once you place the roller back into the opening where it should go, you're going to take your bolt and just very lightly rotate it onto the shaft, just a few turns. Once you put the bolt on, next we can tighten the roller into the dryer frame. We're going to have to take a pair of channel locks and hold the end of the roller. And we're going to lift it up. We're going to take our socket wrench. We're just going to tighten the bolt onto the roller. Next, we're going to reattach our back panel. Once the back panel has been put back on, 
and then we're gonna have to turn the dryer around again to gain access to the inside. So once you turn your dryer around, we're gonna place the back dry ring onto the shaft. We can go ahead and put our wheel back on. And then place the front tri ring onto the shaft as well. Make sure your wheel is secure. Then we can just replace that support that we took off previously. After you put in that support, you can go ahead and replace the cover. And once that cover has been put back in the correct position, you can go ahead and insert the dryer drum. Next, we're going to take the idler pulley and place it into position. While holding the idler pulley, we're going to take the belt and pull it around the idler pulley. And we're just going to slide it over the motor pulley. After you put the belt into place, you can take the front of the dryer and slide it into position. Next, we're just going to screw in the front panel of the dryer into the inside of the dryer. We're going to snap the wire harness back in. We're going to take the top of the dryer and snap it back into place. So after you shut the top of the dryer, you can go ahead and replace those two screws. After those two screws have been replaced, you put your lint filter back in and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need any of the parts we mentioned in this video, you can find the specific replacement using your part number or your model number. Thanks for watching our video. Your support is what allows us to keep creating this free content for you to enjoy. Please like, comment, or share. And if you really liked our video, please subscribe down below.